Hello everybody, really quick, uh, just wanted to pop on and show you what I'm making for supper because I'm going to use the spiralizer. I'm not sure if I've demonstrated that for a while. Spiralizer, the close and cut, the scoop loop, of course my easy read uh, colander measuring and the 10 inch skillet, I'm making some zucchini noodles. So, oh, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do of course is wash my zucchini. I'm using my my poor little dual clean side cleaning brush here. So I'll give this a scrub. You have them for supper tonight. Let's scrub those. All right, and this is our veggie spiralizer. I love using this to make noodles, whether it's zucchini noodles or um, butternut squash noodles. This is the blade, and we just slip this in here. different um, settings. I'm using the thicker setting for these. Alright, so we're in. Look straight. Chop off this end. Chop this. And pull it up. And I hopefully get <laughs> the right size here to fit. Set it down. And pull it a little bit so you can see. Of course I'm using a flex mat. And around we go, and here come my noodles. Look at that. Just like that, I have, hey Janet, I have spiralized zucchini noodles. So I'm going to make a dish in my skillet. So pop it up. There is a little chunk left. So that I will slice up as well. And this, this little chop here. So again, take a fit, hold it down, and away we go. All the way around again. the beauty of the flex mats, you know, is that I can just go like this. Let's move this for a second. My flex mat and go. Now, what you want to do with your zucchini, get a little salt for a second, and then that will get some of that moisture out, so that, that's it. Okay. Other tool we're going to use, coming over here, of course. I have, oops, don't want to see me, my Easy Read Measuring colander. Love that for rinsing. Hangs on my sink. And now I'm going to use my clothes and cut to make these tomatoes in half. The other day when I did those roasted tomatoes in the air fryer, they were so good. I thought, you know what, I'm going to do those and add them to this. But rather than use a quick slice, I'm just going to use my clothes and cut. So, set the tomatoes on. Take my chef's knife. Here. That. Slide it out. And they are done. I pop them onto my tray for my air fryer. And chop up a little onion. I like bigger slices. If you want it smaller, you could use the, either the food processor, the quick slice, or of course the food chopper. Onions in there, and then we're going to do our pepper. So, I'm going to chop off the top of the pepper, just like that. Pop it off, and I'm going to take my scoop loop. And remove all the insides. Scrape all that out. Okay. That's all done. And I just want some 
nice slices because I'm going to roast these as well with the onion and the tomatoes in the air fryer while my piece of chicken is cooking. Nice roasted vegetables. Now you could put these in a pan and do them all in the on the barbecue as well or on the grill. Um, but I am just going to use the air fry. It's kind of hot outside and uh, yeah, I don't want to fry them in with stuff once it's done. My kitchen spritzer. Pop it up. And spritz. Some oil on those. Crushed peppercorn and garlic. And I'm take that and pop it into the air fryer. So the air fryer already has my chicken in it. Set this down the bottom. And excuse me for a second. No, it's always unplugged. And I'm going to do a roast for probably about 20 minutes. And at 10 minutes, I will um, turn it over. And then one thing left I have to do, I have to finish my zucchini noodles. And Put those in the fry, 10 inch fry pan then supper will be done hey helen so that's what i'm doing i don't want to keep you all night so i will post a picture when i'm done but all i'm going to do is take all my vegetables out take my zucchini out because you don't want to cook the zucchini too long like a spaghetti you want it to be uh, still a little firm or at least i like my firm mix them all together i'll add some parmesan cheese and i will have dinner great have a good evening